While a major component of early American history, the story of the removal of the five so-called civilized tribes of the Southeast is not well understood. And until recently, relatively little archaeological work has been done on sites along the route westward known as the Trail of Tears. But now, researchers are beginning to come to grips with what remains of these ephemeral places. Working at sites from the Cherokee homelands across the Mississippi to Indian Country in what is now Oklahoma, Archaeologists, historians, native leaders, and community activists are working together to preserve and interpret that story along the northern route. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, the Snelson Brinker Farm was a stopping point for at least one detachment of about a thousand starving, exhausted Cherokee on the Trail of Tears. As it stands, this is what is left of the Snelson Brinker house. There was a fire on July 4th. And they were doing an investigation because all indications point to arson. In the aftermath of the fire, can the activists rescue history from the arsonists' flames? The farm and sites along the trail offer a wealth of information for researchers hoping to understand the process of genocide and ethnic cleansing in 19th century America. As Katuas and as Cherokees, this was where we had started from. This is where everything known to be Cherokee, the way in which we interpreted the world, all began here. 